I chose chemistry because I think with chemistry you can think of such practical solutions to the current problems that we're facing in the world, such as climate change or the energy transition. Hi, my name is Anne. I'm a PhD student at ETH Zurich. I'm doing synthetic inorganic chemistry, uh, which mainly is the synthesis of new phosphorus building blocks. And I really like holding a compound in my hand for the first time. At the moment, it's still uh, ongoing fundamental research, which uh, hopefully in the far future will turn into uh, interesting uh, applications. So in my PhD, I work on the synthesis of new phosphorus-based inorganic molecules. And when I do these experiments, I write my findings in a lab journal, which I, in the end, write on my computer. Then I use a lot of different spectroscopic techniques to study these new compounds, and obviously I get a lot of data from that. Um, when I finish my PhD, uh, it would be great if I can preserve these data, which I worked on so hard for the last four years. Um, and I can do this now with the ETH library, which offer me this uh, long-term storage of data. Hey, Jan. Hi. Please, come on in. Thanks. I am uh, hopefully graduating in a few months. Yeah. And uh, obviously I have a lot of data which I collected over the last years. And, uh -huh. and my uh, research group, my professor is actually going on retirement soon. Okay. I was wondering what I can do with all these data I've collected or also maybe the data what was collected in my research group. With research data, most cases are special in a way because um, PhD students are mainly very specialized anyway. So each case is unique in its way. Often it needs one-by-one uh, -one consulting together. So at ETH Library, we um, provide digital preservation services for all data produced at ETH and we also monitor the technology. Uh, I'm really happy that Mohamed could help me, uh, showing me how I can preserve my data in the long term. Uh, and hopefully this can help uh, future researchers uh, with their work as well. And now for me it's time to say goodbye to ETH and hopefully move uh, into the direction of uh, sustainability. <laughs>